what's possibly the biggest clincher so far in the Coimbatore blast probe that only raises more questions against the Stalin government and the state police. Well, Times Now has managed to access details of an intelligence report that was submitted to the Coimbatore police way back in 30th of July this year, nearly three months before the blast. Now, this letter mentions nearly 150 names of terror sympathizers linked to the ISIS who are intelligence department said that must be kept under watch. And now this letter mentioned Mubin as well. He, remember, was the man, the mastermind behind the Coimbatore blast. He died in the blast itself. Well, the letter had warned of the nefarious design of the Islamic State and even mentioned how the vulnerable and the poor have been lured by the ISIS and its affiliates to target Hindu leaders and temples. Why did the police not keep an eye on the terror sympathizer when the police were informed three months ahead of the blast? Well, that's the big question. Let me go across to Prapanch, who's joining us. Prapanch, Times Now special investigative team has managed to uncover this warning which came three months back. Despite that, why was Mubin not put on a watch list? Why wasn't he being surveilled? Any kind of answers coming in from the state? Now, in fact, uh, we are given to understand that uh, uh, after Mr. B BJP State Chief Mr. Annamale had released a list of statements uh, wherein he had uh, mentioned responding to the Tamil Nadu DGP, he had stated that uh, out of 96 ISIS sympathizers, one of them was Jamisha Mubin. He was the 89th person on the list of uh, uh, various lists that was given, in fact. And uh, this particular intelligence input was given uh, from the special division of Tamil Nadu police to uh, uh, the Coimbatore police is what uh, he had stated and subsequently uh, they have also, uh, in fact there was a question, he questioned that why there was no action about this particular intel input and subsequently we also saw that uh, the police have uh, categorically stated that there was uh, uh, in fact a general intelligence input and they were acting upon the intel, uh, intel inputs that were given to them. But, however, it, there was also a question about the delay that was uh, uh, in handing over the case to the NIA. But uh, the government has said that the due process uh, was followed in terms of handing over the case to the NIA because uh, uh, the governor of Tamil Nadu also questioned why it took two days, uh, four days time, take your pardon, four days to, in fact, hand over the case to uh, the NIA. But uh, we could see that clearly Tamil Nadu government had stated that, in fact, uh, uh, they, the due process was being followed. Initially, the local police had filed a report and that filed report was uh, uh, given to the state uh, government and thereby that particular report was transferred to the Union Home Ministry and thereby the case was handed over and meanwhile... Do stay on with us, Prapanch. Do stay on with us. Let me go across to Narayan Tirupati who is joining us of the BJP. Uh, so, your first reaction. It now appears that way back in July, three months back, already there was a terror alert. Mubin should have been on the watch list, but clearly he wasn't. Whose failure is that and who's going to answer today after the blast? Yes, on July 19. Uh, a list of 96 uh, persons who were being monitored was sent to, who have to be monitored was sent to time of the police. And on July 30th, the uh, said letter as to how the uh, people are being trained in ISS, uh, how people are from uh, Afghanistan, etc., and uh, how after uh, Vinaya Chaduti, the Ganesh Chaduti, and festivals, how they have planned for a lone wolf attack. Everything is there from the state police itself. That is why we term it as an uh, intelligence failure. We have been saying that. Now it is exposed. Mm -hmm. But do you think then straight answers are going to be given? Because now, in retrospect, we can go back. But this is something which would have been avoidable. And one wonders what about the other 149? Why is it that they have not been put under surveillance if this is the case? See, uh, I don't expect this government uh, to come out with uh, to, to come out clean because this government or the Tamil Nadu police still now has not said that this is an act of terror. Which right. They have not said in spite of uh, the media yesterday exposing that uh, uh, in the Mubin's house, whatever found ISIS mm -hmm. flag uh, which is drawn under other uh, right.
many things what he has done. So right. even now, uh, the DMK or the police have not said it is an act of terror. They are saying it is a cylinder blast. Mm -hmm. That's what. Only the media is saying it is an act of terror and BJP is saying it is an act of terror. So how do you right. expect the government to act on this? So essentially, the BJP is saying that the Stalin government still in denial that this was an act of terror. How do you even expect them to take proactive steps? Thank you so much, Mr. Narayan Tirupati. Meanwhile, let's tell you about how revelation after revelation has been uncovered here on Times Now. now yesterday, we got for you the jihadi literature first and now we've also managed to get you details of the jihadi rituals which were being followed by Mobin. But let's remind you what here on Times Now we told you yesterday about the recoveries which were made by the NIA from the house of Mobin. This is the first one, a scribble diagram that you can see on your screens which was recovered by the NIA from the house of Mobin. Here it says child following that it says youth and then it goes on to say elderly then it specifically says that child and youth it is not their duty to do jihad but the youth it says are strong and thereby imply that it is their duty to carry out jihad the second piece of evidence which has been collected by the NIA from the house of Mubin is this this is uh, another the next one that we are going to show you how humans have been categorized into two categories this is the word which says human it has been categorized into two parts one is muslims the other one is uh, kafir so this is the word for muslim this is what it says kafir so essentially humans have been categorized into if you are not a muslim then automatically you are being branded as a kafir the third piece of evidence that we are showing for you is this this was found on a piece of plate it was a hand scribbled note and this is believed to be the handwriting of Mubin and what does it say it's self-explanatory it says will destroy anyone who dares to touch the house of Allah in fact let me go across to a representative of the AIADMK Kove Satyam who's joining us sir how would you like to respond to the revelations here on times now which appears that they had at least three months to have caught Mubin to surveilled him Yet he managed to plot this terror act, but the DMK police seem to be on snooze mode. The evidence uh, proves that the failure of state intelligence as well as the academic Everything was given on a platter. The information from NIA and the sources with the names were given on a platter to the state intelligence. However, they chose to compromise. The Stalin's and DMK government's complacent attitude and their compromise not only on law and order, but their compromise on national security is evident now. Right. But still they are looking at that it's just a surrender blast and a natural. Still no, the team has not come out and opened and said uh, this is a terror link, terror, terror attack. And it has got Why do you think the DMK was silent all along on this, Kovai Satyam? Because the BJP, your alliance partner, has also suggested it's not just dereliction but also appeasement. There is. Because they've always, all the time, treated uh, uh, a particular religion as a vote bank politics. And they want to appease. And she has pressing aside the evidence onto the carpet. Hmm. Okay. Our real action should be like they have to take actions that bring in confidence and harmony among religions and in the minds of the people. So this Just is with an eye on the vote bank. Big charge coming in. Let me take that across to American eye Narayanan, who's also joining us, a political analyst. Mr. Narayanan, how, how would you like to respond to that? The opposition now says DMK is not just guilty of dereliction of their duty after this terror alert was ignored, but also if appeasement of the vote bank. First thing is, I, I think I came, at the time I came into the conversation, you called it as a DMK police. And uh, I don't know whether you were quoting somebody else or you yourself said that. This is the police kind of, which reports no, no, to, uh, to the, no, listen, the state you are not of the saying, DMK, which is the Sarkar of the you DMK. Can, you cannot call the police as a DMK police or a BJP police or anybody's police. Police, you can call the government of Tamil Nadu. That is your problem are, in all of this? You can, you can that the police were DMK called DMK and not the fact right to, that to, they ignored a terror to, alert. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. First, start using the right word. You can say DMK government, but you cannot say DMK police. Hmm. And that is your only problem that you have with the entire story that we got for you. How for three months, 
this terror alert was not acted upon. However, thank you so much, Mr. Kovai Satyan, for joining us. Also, America Nai Narayanan. Well, with that, we are going to be slipping into a short break. Uh, but before that, there is some breaking news which is coming in. This one is coming in from Morbi, where the news is tightening around the big fish. Some ones are likely to be given to the Oreva owners now. Remember, this is after the FSL report is out. Here on Times Now, we've been actively looking for the Oreva owners. We have been going out to their offices, even the farmhouse of the owner, uh, Jaisuk Bhai Patel. And not just that, we have managed to get for you all the lapses on your screens. You can see how everything crumbled under apathy. That bridge was completely rusted. The cables were not oil. And this is the proof which is on the cameras of Times Now. Times Now has also managed to uh, confront several of the officers in the hierarchy. However, so far, remember, the Oreva owners have not been named in the FIR. Let me go across to Priyank. Priyank, what are you picking up? Finally, at least we expect some kind of action, even if it is only a summon to the Oreva owners. Uh, see, one uh, will be issued uh, a very in a short while from now, but what we can sense after talking to the senior officials who are privy to this investigation, Meghna, that uh, the police is uh, proceeding in a scientific investigation pattern. Because uh, if you see the initial sort of the FI was not mentioning any of the company, which uh, created so much of outrage uh, where people, the victim family were talking about that, how, why is it so? That when the lucky name of the company is clear cut mentioned, the name is not coming up. Later to that, in the demand copy, which was accessed by us, the police gradually named the company uh, owner. Uh, what is this happening that the police is waiting for the forensic uh, sample report from the Gandhi Nagar lab, which will be comprising of the analysis which is being done by the four districts of the FSL team, plus the Gujarat uh, government, uh, you know, a bridge uh, construction scheme, a team. This document will be a final nail on uh, the evidence which is being collected by the police. And the moment this, uh, you know, information will come up, I'm sure. Uh, the senior officials will be sending a summon to uh, the owners of Oreva. So that's a scientific process uh, which is being followed. This is what the sense I can get after talking to uh, the officers and being on the ground. Uh, so that is something for which uh, people will have to wait because uh, ideally if you talk about the legality, the police already have uh, 90 days of time period to file the charge sheet. And mm -hmm. at this juncture, they are certainly not in a position to arrest someone who, uh, whose involvement is not proven uh, you know, with the uh, with the evidence and if at all someone gets a bail with the, because of the lack of the evidence it's going to be a very disaster thing for the Gujarat government to you know come out and talk to the people so the investigation is going on uh, we are expecting that uh, very soon the FSL report will be out but in the meanwhile Mingna, all those uh, 135 members of the family who have lost their near and uh, you know loved one mm -hmm. are recording the statement before the police uh, Priyank, you must also quickly tell us where is Jaisuk Patel right now? Where is his family? All of them are sitting uh, in uh, director post in Oreva uh, firm because you've been trying to track him as well. You've been to his house, to the factory. Times Now reporters have been trying to track him. Have you managed to do that? See, but he is still out of uh, the you know range of the police officials, but certainly. Uh, but the police is also not in, a, you know, in that uh, status of investigation that they will have to find the traces of Jesse Patel. Obviously, he's in India, and I'm uh, sure that the police official will be able to find his location. But that can only happen, Megna, once the FSL finding report of the Gandhi Lennagar lab will come out with a clear evidence against him. Right. The day this evidence comes... And Absolutely. Patel, uh, so we'll have to wait and see if the big fish really get to play. But thank you so much, Priyank, for getting us those details. So all these people plunged into the river as these rusted cables snapped. This heavily aluminium planks also weighed down the entire structure. But why did the bridge collapse? Well, Times Now has pledged to uncover the truth with our extensive reportage and punish the guilty. We will take you to the site of the tragedy where the crumbling remains of the bridge still lie. We get you the authoritative word of the forensic expert who filed the probe report. We will also uncover the chilling details, that hint of a political and administrative backing for Oreva. Times Now will show you just how the bridge crumbled under neglect and apathy, not under rust or rage. First, watch this ground report from the site of the tragedy, the remains of the bridge, tell a story of craft and collusion. SIT finding and the findings of the forensic report clearly point out that there was no maintenance work which was done on this Mobi bridge and all 
the responsibility to take care of the strength was on this bridge. You can see the rusted structure. I'll just do a demo. I'm taking out my uh, this uh, white handkerchief and I'm trying to, you can see it's white and I'm just trying to rub it for it and you can see the change. So, इतना 